All right, everybody, we've got Mech uh, right here. It's back from five years on the summit of Mauna Kea. Uh, we're going to now um, drop the shields and show you what's inside the most advanced camera on the planet, also the coldest camera on the planet by some, uh, by some metrics. So the coolest camera on the planet here uh, has is this uh, interesting um, square doer. Most doers are not square. Most um, refrigerators like this have a vacuum shield that's round because it resists compression better. This one is square. Uh, it looks pretty cool. It's got this lightweighting honeycomb. So these are solid blocks of aluminum. So what we're going to do is we're going to crack it open. We'll drop the, f the um, 300 Kelvin shield. We'll drop the 77K shield. We'll drop the 4 Kelvin shield. And then we will inspect the contents and make sure everything got back from Hawaii OK. All right, we should put on gloves. I like it. OK. All right, so Nikki and Michael are going to help. First thing we got to do is uh, crack the vacuum and let air into the fridge. You can hear the hissing. It's a good vacuum if it's sustained this whole time. Yeah, see, this is starting to fill up as the pressure comes in. Air is, air is flowing in. So this vacuum has been uh, maintained all the way back from Hawaii. So we are open. How do we know when it's finished? No more vacuum. It stops making noises. OK, next thing we can. We could do this by hand, but it's a little safer to, um, to have the uh, thing. So you want to crank that up to, to just under support? Yes. Where? Until you feel resistance. OK, that's good. And now we can take off the um, screws here. So this, if you want to find another one, this is a 964. Okay, see so Kumbar. We got a gap in there. Cool. All right. Okay, so slowly lower, lower it down. Bit. Yeah. And we will guide the doer down, making sure it comes. It's lowered a little bit. Yeah, it's not. We're still. Uh, we're still. We want to come up a little bit. Yeah. I think we're still stuck somewhere. Might have. Yeah, there's something on this side. Like this side went down, that side didn't go down. Yeah, I can yeah. see here. Oh, there's one right slanted. here. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's a hidden, okay. hidden this screw. This is back up now, so it's okay. Okay. Yeah. We Usually we up. don't, when we, we often only take apart the fridge at the lower shield here, mm -hmm. but we want to get a full look at everything, so we're taking it fully apart here, which is a little bit more complicated because their screws are slightly Is there a risk more. of getting debris in there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Ready to lower? Yep. There we go. How low you need it? Uh, we'll go all the way down until it clears. So you can see here at the top, there's, a, there's an O-ring and there's also this RF gasket. We've had some issues with this RF gasket material. See how there's some... What does the RF gasket material do? It's supposed to make an R, a, a seal against electromagnetic radiation. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it actually does what it's supposed to do. Right now. I don't know what is happening. Yeah, it, it's, it's just not smooth. It just does just that? Keep, okay. Yeah, it just does that. Put a little pressure on it as, it come to, as we come down and it'll, it'll stop doing that. Okay. 
Okay, see so that's where we gotta be careful of the, the windows. All right, that's good. Stop. Yep, we can start. All right, so this is the uh, 77 face shield right here. It has this, this window. This is, it's pretty exposed, so this is a little delicate here. Um, Should we, we cover it with something? Yeah, we will get a little cover, to, uh, to tape a cover onto it. Don't want it to fall, Nikki. You wanna? Yeah. So just start taking out all of the ones around the corner here. Okay. And just I'll get the corners or the sides. Uh, all as well? the whole way all around. Side. Okay. Did you? I'll get a. Uh, here, Michael. You can oh, use okay. one. Of awesome. Where are these? Yeah, maybe let's put the other stuff. Here, let's stick them in here. Perfect. Thank you. So this is the 77K shield? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so if you look here, there's, um, this, is, this is where all our uh, microwave cables come in at the top here. Then, so they have SMA cables, and then it goes to these um, G3PO connectors, and then right here you have the flex cables attached here. Then there's a block that thermalizes it. So this is the, the beginning of our flex wiring up here. The rest of this wiring is all, um, DC wiring for thermometry and hemp power supplies that's coming in here. So mm -hmm. the front of the fridge is pretty much where all of our systems go in. Can you point again to where the G3PO is connector? Right here. See the, this yeah. G3PO connector? Yeah. So this is these are all SMA. And so we went SMA to G3PO to make it easier. I'm not sure. We'll, we may just go everywhere at G3PO. We also have the heat switch here. This is a mechanical heat switch that's controlled by the motor. Um, through this uh, this pass this rotary pass through. There's screws on the back as well. Yeah. There's three or four of them. Thank you. We wear the gloves because the oils from your hand interact with the um, shielding materials and cause you cause it to get fingerprinted which theoretically increases the emissivity, but really it just doesn't look very nice. So I like to keep, try to keep things clean. You can see some of the fingerprints. Have Are we taking through. apart these on the bottom as well? This whole thing should just go, could, should just drop off as one unit, okay. hopefully. Are all the screws out? Yep. yep. All right, let's try to, here, put a little weight on it as it comes down, and then this should just pop off. Right. Now watch the front so yeah. that. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, wait, 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 wait. It's, okay. it's not popping off. Yeah, it's probably caught up on something. That's okay. You can try to you can try to move it around. Here, just actually just just hold the shield. Yeah. Up and I'm gonna. Sometimes this is it's not heavy, so you don't really even need this. And I'll try to uh, see if I can figure it out. Okay, guys, let go. Let go. Yep. Let's see what it's hold held up on. Let's put um, let's put a couple of screws back in. Okay. We're gonna have to. We'll take the shield off in two parts. Okay. So if you just well, hold it back, push it back yeah. up again, and we'll we'll just put a couple of screws in the side to hold it, and then we'll take off this bottom row because mm -hmm. there's clearly Are something. Are you holding it, Michael? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna put a screw over here. You got one in. But it's so hard with these gloves. That's why I get this smallest gloves I can get because uh, um, you don't have any smalls yeah you only have medium oh when you have extra large hands and shove them into <laughs> into into medium gloves oh you're cockeyed a little bit okay that's good thank you all right so now let's do so take off this layer of screws here there's no screw in this side yeah you that's okay okay more, you right? can put one more in but it doesn't really matter this thing weighs almost if it's, nothing if it's fine then it's fine okay I'll pull all right in. yeah it's fine it just doesn't weigh very much, so you don't have to worry too much. Oh, yeah. All right. 
So let's take off, let's take this screw, the screws off here. On the bottom? Yep. Alrighty. Just this top layer or both? Just the bottom. Just the bottom layer. Uh, hmm. Oh, that is a good question. I don't know what the... Let's take off just the bottom one for now. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let go. I got it. Alright, so there's the uh, can. You can see the, uh, the optic right here. And let's see if we can figure out why this was um, having a hard time coming off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it looks like it's just... Was put on here. Yeah, let's just look at tight fit maybe. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we can take it. Let's take off the inner shield and then maybe probably dropping that one will be yeah. easier. All right, should I we put something screw, below this? The screws so, extend beyond the edge of the inner rib. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take off these, um, just the screws at the top mm -hmm. up here. This is the four Kelvin shield, and here's the final. This is the four Kelvin window. This is a 20 millimeter thick piece of BK7 glass with a multi layer coating that blocks. Uh, wavelengths that we don't want, most notably the thermal infrared. And for the YouTube audience, why do we have these intermediate stages instead of going straight to 100 yeah. kelvin? So everything radiates black body <laughs> radiation. So um, it's when you have something hot at 277 kelvin, it, it's actually putting out a lot of power and that'll heat up the inner stages. So by having these metal stages, we can uh, reflect that light and block the high temperature black body radiation from warming up the colder stages. So you can think about it a little bit like a thermos bottle. We have these insulated stages that are trying to keep uh, the heat out. Well, there's also stages of cooling. Like there's right, there, the, there's, there's actually this pulse this tube cooling and then there's the ADR. Right, so this mechanical cooler up top is a pulse tube cooler and it has two stages. One stage gets to about 50 Kelvin, one stage gets to about 4 Kelvin. So this, this 77 or 50K stage, depending on what we call it, is the, is the first heat intercept of the, uh, where we dump a lot of power. We have a lot of cooling power at, at 50 Kelvin. Oh, we don't oh, have much at 4 still Kelvin, one more screw. which is why we use this multi-stage system. Okay. All righty. All right. All right, you take this. You can see this one. We have um, we have the window. See the inside's painted black to reduce the amount of uh, light that bounces around it. Um, and uh, yeah, nice. Uh, this is aluminum, nickel plated aluminum with a um, with the, the window in it. All right, and so that leaves this. Let's let's try to take this this one off now. Hopefully we can just take off the um, those couple bolts and then have it just drop down. I'll I'll hold it. You guys do the bolts. That's right. I guess these are screws, not bolts. have uh, there's a lot of stuff in here um, so if we go start up here with the um, uh, SMA cables those go down in these estimated G3PO connectors and go to these uh, flax cables these are strip line connectors so they're they're a, they're a, a flexible cable made out of copper a dielectric a thin copper layer another dielectric and another layer of copper which forms a transmission line. Are those and the ones that Jenny made? No, these are uh, these are commercially made using quarter ounce inch copper. Um, those bring the signals down here to um, to uh, the colder stages of the fridge. So this is this is all room temperature. This is 50 Kelvin right here. And then you see this break between these two here. This whole stage is four Kelvin. So everything attached to this is four Kelvin. So this is 77 and this is four. 
So this is the this is the big thermal break in our system. Um, this block here, these are our hemp amplifiers. So this is the amplifiers that bring it up. Then everything below this is to get you below uh, um, four Kelvin. So this thing right here, this is the adiabatic demagnetization refrigerator. So this is a magnetic cooler. In here is a four Tesla superconducting magnet with these salt pills. And this is the heat switch right here. By manipulating the salt pills and the heat switch, we can drop things to about 100 millikelvin. And you'll see this, this black thing is the magnetic shield. In that magnetic shield, the mech array lives and it's at 100 millikelvin. You can see these little clamps that bring the cold temperatures down to um, just the fridge, just the device itself. So what we're gonna do in this upgrade is we're gonna basically add an entire another 12 inch section to this. So we're gonna take everything you see here and drop it one foot lower and then put in an intermediate section where we're gonna have these new amplifiers. So it's a pretty major surgery. We're gonna be adding something called a helium three refrigerator and then adding these parametric amplifiers that are going to lower our noise. Where is the helium three fridge going to be in the system? The helium is three fridge kind of is going to, under? It's going to sit like right here, kind okay. of. And then the power amps are going to kind of sit like right here. So everything's at this sub one K stage. Uh, well, the, the helium three fridge will be anchored to four Kelvin. Okay. Uh, and the power amps will be anchored to the helium three, which will be 300 millikelvin. So I have a CAD model that I can show. It'll, uh, it makes it easier. But if you look down here, once you get past these four, the hemp's, this is the, these are the flax cables. This is what Jenny developed uh, with Maybell and us. So these flax cables are what brings the signal. And if you look down right in the center, you can see the array um, at, at, the, um, at the intermediate. So it's a pretty complex stage. I think the good news is that we managed to get um, through shipping without I don't see any obvious damage. Yeah, is there anything you think is out of place? I think it looks okay, but. No, it looks, it looks okay, yeah. It shockingly survived why does, shipping. Why does this cryostat model have this black shielding, whereas, for example, this one does not? Is that just because we haven't added anything yet? Yeah, this is, we, we knew what we were doing. When we built this one, we, you know, specified things like the black, and we built all, everything, this cryostat came with about up to here and this. Everything down here we built and added as, as part of mech and the mech wiring. So there's a lot of customization that goes into this sort of base level cryostat. Um, there's also some other interesting parts that are a little harder to see. Maybe we can uh, take the, uh, maybe we'll take this camera for a trip. But um, if you go over here, you can see we've got, um, so here's the G3PO connectors. Here's the, um, the flexible cables. Here's the four Kelvin amplifier block. Um, here's our flax cables. And you can even see inside the array at the, uh, in the center here. Um, there's also, uh, these are high temperature superconductor oh, leads right here. These, are, uh, these bring the 10 amps that the magnet needs in without generating any heat. Um, you can see on the back here, these are thermal straps that connect everything to, um, to the pulse tube for good thermalization. See these huge, beefy copper um, the uh, straps. Uh, here, this, is a, um, this is this a this is a interesting. Um, this lets uh, air come out, but yeah, not, uh, but doesn't let How light in. So this basically lets have? us pump the system. Uh, probably 20? twenty. Twenty. Yeah. yeah. Same amount of feet. No. This, yeah. is only this magnetic points. shield is critical. That I mean, the real innovations here are, you know, besides the M-Kit array, are this, being able to put, do all this flex cabling and having these wire blocks and this flex cable, these are, these are pretty unique. So we're gonna have to uh, continue as we go. We got a lot more interesting stuff to add in the upgrade. All right, so we've got a lot of work to do in the upgrade. Um, thanks for joining us. We will be uh, continuing to uh, upgrade the fridge and bring you along on the process of making Mech Prime the most powerful exoplanet instrument in the world. So like and subscribe, and we'll see you back at the channel.